the makers of Alka-Seltzer, bring you Lum and Abner. that you folks are all mighty glad out there to have Lum and Abner back on the job again, bringing you their programs from down in Pine Ridge. And you know, being on the job these days is mighty important to all of us. That's why it's a downright shame that hundreds of men and women went to work this morning suffering with a miserable headache. Did you? Or did you remember what we've said about how quickly and pleasantly Alka-Seltzer offers real relief for this common joy killer? Well, you should take Alka-Seltzer whenever a headache threatens to slow you down. And here's why. Now, the analgesic pain reliever, which it contains, is in a different, highly effective form. Because it is in complete solution when you take it, it's ready to go to work without the usual delay to give you the kind of comforting relief you want. What's more, when your headache's accompanied by acid indigestion, as is often the case, when you eat or drink or smoke too much, Alka-Seltzer offers quick relief for this discomfort, too, by neutralizing excess gastric acidity. So be wise, friends. Why let a headache or acid indigestion make you feel mean and miserable when Alka-Seltzer offers such prompt, pleasant relief? Next time, ask your druggist for Alka-Seltzer. He has it by the package and also serves it by the glass at the soda fountain. And now, let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, Cedric Weehunt had a very brief career as business manager of the Jotham Down store. After a few profitable deals in his own behalf, Plum and Abner believed the boy to be a business genius. And the first idea Cedric offered in that capacity resulted in a $15 loss to the store. As a consequence, we find the young fellow back at his old job, sweeping out and running errands. As we look in on the little community today, we find Lum and Abner down at the store discussing the matter. Well, I wouldn't work Cedric too hard now, Lum. Yeah, he's got to make up for the work he ought to been doing when we thought he was a business genius. Yeah, we might not spoil him there for a few days. Not the only idea you give us for him proving her business weren't no good. No, no. Cost us $15 worth of merchandise to try it out. Yeah, no, that idea weren't no count at all. No uh, when you get done straightening up them shelves, Cedric, I want you to clean up the feed room back there. Yes, Mom? Yeah, be careful with them rabbits back there now, Cedric. Don't let them out. No, Mom, I won't. Abner, what are we going to do with them rabbits? I don't know, Lum. I don't like to keep complaining about them, but on the other hand, I hate to just sit here and see them things eat us right out of business. Yeah, well, I think I know where I can make a deal to feed them for a while, on. I, I just heard yesterday that Bernie Miller's moving, so I'm going over there and see if I can't buy that whole garden of his from him. He's got carrots and lettuce and everything else in him. Yeah, but you're going to have to pay him for it. And when that's add up, we'll have to buy something else. And the worst part of it is they keep increasing all the time. Yeah. How many of them is there back there now? Well, there was uh, 114 back there when I opened up this morning. I ain't counted them since. For goodness sakes, 114. Well, we just got to do something about it. That's all they are to it. I know it, I know it, Mom. Reckon Ezra C. Strunk would take them rabbits back. I don't know. I don't much believe he would, Mom. He acted like he's too glad to get shut of them. Yeah, that's just what I was feared of. What do the folks do with rabbits that's got them? You're always hearing about folks that's got rabbits. What happens to them? I don't know. This is the first experience I ever had with them. Well, what does Ezzy do with his? Why? Swaps them to folks that he's on, I reckon, like he done us. I grant he's, wait a minute. wonder if that wholesale house in there at the county seat... No, they wouldn't take rabbits in on a dead, I know. Granny's. I reckon I done wrong trading for them. And you ain't going to get in no argument out of me on that. Of all the deals you ever made, them rabbits was the worst. 
the rabbits and that clothes dummy you bought from Squire Skimp. Mr. Delbeck? Well, he ain't increasing none. No, but we ain't got no use for him. Stands there and stares at me and makes me so uncomfort I can't enjoy being at the store no more. I told you to keep him turned around looking the other direction. Well, I had him turn around the other way long, but the sun was right in his eyes, so I turned him back. Well, what difference did that make? Well, how would you like to stand there and stare right into the sun all morning? For goodness sakes. Of course, I reckon I could put one of them sunbonnets there on him. Abner, I wish you'd quit treating that dummy like as if he was a person. Well, he does seem like it to me, mightn't I? Of course, he can't talk, but he's company for me when I'm in the store here by myself. I can talk to him. I know that must be an intelligent conversation, talking to somebody that can't answer you back. Well, that's what I like about him. You get to say what I'm thinking without being interrupted. I don't interrupt you. Well, no, but Elizabeth does. I tell you, Lum, that woman of mine has got to where she just nags the everlasting daylights out of me. Nags you? Yeah, I can't do nothing right no more. Over there at choir practice the other night. Just cause me and the widow Abernathy was singing out of the same hymnal book, she got so mad she couldn't hardly see. <laughs> well, I do not. Had her back up over it for three or four days. Jealous as hearted woman I ever seen in my life. And then you ought to be careful not to do nothing to aggravate her. I don't. I daresn't look at nobody else. Her ma before, though, was the same way. Jealous. She led old man Grump a dog's life. She did, huh? Oh, yeah. They just get too crazy about their men, folks. That's their trouble. <laughs> old lady Grump, she just thought the world and all Elizabeth's paw, but she was always giving him a whooping. Granny, yeah, couldn't he protect himself? Oh, I reckon he could have held his own in a fair fist, bare knuckle fight. But she'd pick up anything she could find that weren't nailed down and hit him with it. I seen her out in the front yard one Sunday afternoon, just might and I strip a picket fence whooping him with them palings. Run him clean up under the house with the dogs. <laughs> well, I do know her. She must have been a gore. Oh, she was, she was. Wouldn't weigh 90 pounds, soaking wet. Well, I do know. And then brushed off her hands and come up and sat down on the porch and poured herself a glass of lemonade. Sat there and lemonaded herself and just dared him to come out from under there. Double dog dared him. <laughs> Well, you never have had no fights with Elizabeth, though. No, but it ain't her fault. I just know better than to talk back. And if old man Grump had to use his head that way, instead of having them fence palings broke over it, he'd been a heap better off, too. It looks like he'd have uh, learned better eventually. Yeah, does. Like you're trading. Looks like you'd learn better, too. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I might not have forgot. Uh, which color do you think it look best, Long? Color? For what? A sunbonnet for Mr. Dill back there. Oh, you ain't going to sure enough put a sunbonnet on him. Why, sure I am. I'll try this blue one here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> now, look at there. Just matches his eyes. <laughs> well, pull it down over his eyes so as I can't even see him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold still, Mr. Dillback. This will keep that glare out of your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It don't look right a man with a sunbonnet on. Right, dog, is that gives me a idea. What are you fixing to do? I'm going to put one of these gingham dresses on him here. For goodness sakes. What about them breeches legs hanging down there? Oh, this dress will hang clean down to the floor. See, now let me get that over there. Yeah. What Can about his that? What about his mustache? I don't be. Yeah, I'll just put a court plaster over that. And get this dress buttoned up there. <laughs> I know that Mr. Dillbeck, I never would have known you. Or Ms. Dillbeck, I reckon I ought to call you now. <laughs> Granny, if you ain't a case, Abner. <laughs> a case if ever I seen one. Worse than some young'un playing with a doll. Well, this will help us sell some of them gingham dresses before they go out of style. Yeah, you're too late. They've done went out of style. Well, they see Mrs. Dillbeck wearing them while maybe they'll come back in. Anyway, you got his eyes covered up. That's all I'm bothered about. Hey, doggy, she's a pretty good looker, ain't she, Law? <laughs> well, I've saw better. How about having the next wolf with you, Miss Dillbeck? <laughs> <laughs> Silly idiot. <laughs> hey, we make a pretty good-looking couple, don't we? <laughs> uh, 
somebody see you standing there with your arms around that dummy, they'll think you've lost your reason. Well, we don't care, do we, Miss Dillbeck? It's a case of love at first sight. <laughs> Fly away with me and your word diamonds, honey. <laughs> For goodness sake, <laughs> kissing that dummy. <laughs> Sister Simpson standing outside there watching you. Huh? Better be careful. Oh, oh, we don't care, do we, Miss Dillbeck? Let her watch. Let her watch. I got to find something to put over that mustache hole. Oh, wait a minute, we'll have some fun out of Cedric. See if he knows him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come here, Cedric. I want you to meet my lady friend. Bob? Uh, Mr. Wee Hunt, like for you to shake hands with Miss Dillbeck. Oh, pleased to make your quick. Oh, so on the goodness, that's Mr. Dillbeck with a dress on, ain't it? Yeah, don't he look nice? <laughs> look just like a woman standing there. Well, that's what he's supposed to look like. Oh, did you get the feed room cleaned up back there, Cedric? Yes, Mom, but them rabbits is a nuisance, Mr. Lum. Turn over them pans of water fast as I can put them in there. Yeah, we're trying to figure out some way to get shut of them. Well, I've been thinking up a way... And you could help your business here in the store, too. We don't want to hear it. No, we're just now getting over that last idea you give us. That drawing. This is sort of like that, too. Give away a free rabbit every time somebody buys a dollar's worth of stuff out of the store here. <laughs> but I don't reckon that idea's any good, either. No. Wait a minute, Abner. Granny, that might be all right. Won't hurt us to try it. Might stimulate business and help us get rid of the rabbits at the same time. My dog is I hadn't thought about that. No. Cedric, maybe we was too hasty in our judgment. You may be a genius after all. Well, good for me. That's our ring, I think, Abner. Yeah, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Hello? Jot him down, store. Oh, hello, honey. Yes, Ma? Who said that? Sister Simpson? Oh, well, that was just Miss Dillbeck. Well, yeah, but I... I know, but... Yeah, but honey, I... If you'll just give me a chance to... Yes, honey. Yes, Elizabeth. Well, see, I just put that dress on her and... Uh Uh-oh, he ordered to say that. Hello? Uh Hello? Hello? Oh, my goodness, now I'm into it. Sister Simpson went and told Elizabeth that she seen me kissing a woman here in the store a while ago, love. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. (laughs) <laughs> well, I guess Lum and Hebner are a lot like you and I. They have their ups and downs, don't they? Yes, they have their bright and happy days, and they have their dull and dreary days, too. How about you? Every now and then, do you wake up in the morning feeling dull and upset, suffering perhaps with a headache or a touch of acid indigestion? Now, friends, you and I know that it's not much fun to start out on your day's work feeling that way, is it? But why let a dull, aching head or an upset acid stomach slow you down and cause you distress when Alka-Seltzer offers the very kind of fast relief you want and need? Now, the moment you take Alka-Seltzer, the analgesic which it contains goes to work to ease that dull, throbbing headache. At the same time, its alkalizing properties quickly neutralize the excess stomach acid, usually the immediate cause of your stomach distress. So, always remember... Whenever a headache or acid indigestion causes you distress, you just drink a refreshing glass of Alka-Seltzer. You'll feel better fast. Get a package of these analgesic alkalizing tablets from your druggist tonight or tomorrow, and never be without one handy again. Be sure to listen to Lum and Abner tomorrow night at this same time. Lum and Abner are now on the air every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday evening at 7.15 p.m. over the station. Blue Crosby speaking. See you tomorrow. This is the National Broadcasting Company. <laughs>